Now, here's a big problem. Many, many charismatic ministries won't see the next generation. Won't see the next generation except as a change. All this hand over to your son, hand over to your daughter is not ministry. No, it's not. So it's not. Hypocrites. It's not. It's not. Welcome to the moment of truth. Bishop Oyedepo criticized handing over ministry to children. Is this really coming from him? Why is he saying this now? All his children, including the, the son-in-laws, are in his ministry. And uh, Ashimolowo did the same thing. And Jakes did the same thing. Now, when it comes to Taiwo Udukoya, everybody raising eyebrows. Um, I don't understand. This is actually coming from him. Let's hear why he's saying this. We know it is not ministry. We know it is church business. But it's actually coming from um, Oyedepo now. Let's hear him. It's not ministry. No prayer, no nothing. And no process. It's only between you and your son. That's not life. Define the process. If God picks that son, it may not be the fourth, it may not be the second. Maybe the third or the fourth. But it's not a uh, family inheritance. It's not a uh, chieftain city to your, your process. Religious process in the spirit. If the man gets it, it will still be subject to vetting of the body responsible. Hello. Uh, you're quiet now. It's too hot. My God. Amen. Praise God. That's how to secure the coming generation. You don't do that, you'll have it. Now, if you go by that thing that people are doing now, the next leader will also put a son there that may not even be born again. That's the end of the ministry. That may not be born again. That may even say the build the church and say ministry food, food that come and call anybody wants to buy. Session. They find the process of succession. You know, Joshua is not a biological son of Moses. And the sons of Moses never caused any problem. They were very holy sons. But they were not the one chosen by God. They find the process. This thing is not genetical. They find the process. Let the process be well understood. Life, life is so simple. Define the age limit. Because you need energy to drive. Yes. Particularly all these big, big ministries that are rising. Yeah. You need the energy to drive. <laughs> energy to drive. Don't get an 80-year-old person to come and drive a trailer. No, no, no. You will sleep up. <laughs> Define the terms of eligibility. So there won't be anything you are running around for. Who and who are eligible? What must they possess for the eligibility? What is the process for the ultimate emergence? They find it. It's so simple. Not when we're about to die. Um, Baba, who is taking over? There was one Jeremiah. <laughs> they say, my people, my people, you just heard Oyedepo. And um, what I don't understand in these people, everybody is pointing finger. They accuse others of what they are doing. Because his sons has been in the ministry for how many years? David Oyedepo Jr. was posted to London when I was still a member in 2006 to head the church in London. 
he was a baby then. He wasn't even married. He married shortly after that. So what is he talking about? His junior brother, Isaac, was posted to head the church in the USA. So, and I don't understand. Hashim Oluwa left his son, left the church in the charge of his son in the UK with his wife. He ran back to Nigeria. Now he's in the real estate. T.D. Jakes, as big as the church is, he handed it over to his daughter, Sarah Jakes. Now it comes to Jimmy Odukoya. We know it's wrong, maybe because uh, uh, Bile Akoni has condemned it. That's why he's talking like this. You will see it in my video, um, the one I did with uh, how who how the prosperity is preaching how nigerians pastors ate the forbidden fruits you will see it there billy akoni said it maybe that's why they are picking on it now i do not know and we even go even uh, joel austin his father john austin handed the ministry over to him and we see their hand now we see what they are doing now He's talking about someone is born again, he's not born again. None of you are born again. You are not Christians. You guys are not Christians. So don't try to cajole us. And that's what I'm saying to you, my people. These people are manipulative. See what, what Oroko is doing now. See what uh, Joshua Sema is doing now. See what all of them are doing. This is where they are getting the spirit of manipulation from. They learn it. You see, all the people there, they are pastors. NHL is there. Biodu um, Fato um, is also there. So who knows? We didn't see Sema. I know Sema had been to Oyedepo. Maybe it's also there. These, these people are manipulative. Don't ever take them serious. They will say the same thing and they will... They, they will condemn others for doing something, and they too are doing the same thing. They are hypocrites. They are hypocrites. They don't know what they are doing. I think they are, they are demented, to be honest with you. That's why I keep telling you, my people, know God for yourself. We all know that Jimmy Odukoya is not, is not, he, 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 he's not equipped to, to do what they, they put on him. So even the way he talks and everything, you will know. So, I don't see... <laughs> because Oyedepo always think that he's better than everybody. He's where he cooped than everybody. And it's a lie. He's a master manipulator. He's a lie. He's a lie. Anyway, I saw this. I said, oh, this man has come again. Let me quickly bring it to my people. Others are talking about it as well. And you know me. My own view is different too, because I've seen all these men. I've been to their churches. Many bloggers that talk about them don't even know them. Me, I know them one on one. I've had a one on one with Oyedepo on three occasions. I've been to his office in a, in a, in a Ota. So I've been to his office. I've been everywhere with all these people. I know them. I know them. They are liars. They are manipulatives. And they have no relationship with Christ. They have nothing to do with Christ. The same thing with their with their children. Look at uh, that uh, his son Isaac. That one is even worse than David. David Junior. So my people, don't be deceived. Though I see you on my next video. Bye for now. At the way we are.